welcome back so today we actually have a very different unboxing and i'm hiding in my guest room aka my mother-in-law's room because i was away this week for a work trip and my husband thought he wanted to give me a little surprise a gift so literally he woke me up and said you couldn't be any more real than getting up in your pajamas with no makeup haven't washed my hair in four days and just threw on some eyeliner for this video so can't get any more real than that hiding in my guest room while my kids are sleeping so what are you gonna do either way this is the box the gift came in has no indication what it's from it just says to scatterway new jersey so let's see what he got me so normally my husband's not big of a, a surprise kind of thing. i kind of give him a list of things to buy me throughout the year generally when you're a fashion lover or a luxury um, lover like myself you don't want to mess up the gift that you're going to buy because it's pretty expensive and if he buys it early and you don't have enough time to return it or he doesn't know who to get it from it's a really big deal so i we set up this plan every year like at the beginning of the year january just that's generally my that's my birthday month um that i plan out the gifts that i want for the year sometimes i use a couple events for the one or one very large gift you know if i want something from like chanel or dior or if there's a louis vuitton leather good that's a little bit more out of the budget so as we can see this seems to be a louis vuitton item so that's very interesting and louis vuitton does do really great boxes so i always appreciate the kind of I lost the receipt on the floor somewhere, but it's a surprise, so we don't need to look at it. So here's a little bit of time packaging. It's very pretty, as always. Let's see if there's anything in this card note. take a wild guess this is a tote <laughs> oh interesting it's the league so as you guys know the new uh, launch of the LVLOX I guess is is the league and I did just get a speedy BB and I was like oh how interesting would be getting the tote as well um, I mean, I'm realistic. I only like to buy one thing out of every new release. I'll get something small or depending if I really like it, I'll get a, I'll get like a larger leather good, but generally I will get like a wallet or a pochette, something just from that um, release. Um, but I did get the Speedy BB this time and he ended up getting me the Neverfull. I do like about the Neverfulls that do not have the treated, that have the non-treated leather, which is, which is nice, but I love the treated leather. Um, it gives you more versatility. I could wear this in different types of weather, and that was kind of what I was probably seeing that made him buy it. Um, you know, I do have the jungle, um, the jungle Neverfull. I do have the Damni Bean, but I did sell it recently because it was very large. I had the GM. And as much as I do like large bags, um, I felt it was a little too big. I had originally bought it as a diaper bag when my first daughter was born, and I realized that it was too big. I ended up buying a traditional diaper bag from Gucci that was much more smaller, and I didn't carry everything but my kitchen sink. But the medium MM, as they call it, the MM in Louis Vuitton, is the perfect size, especially for a working mom who carries her iPad and her agenda and wallet and sometimes for lunch if she decided that she was going to not spend any money for the week which is very rare but when I do carry it 
these sorts do come in very handy. So came comes with a little pochette, which is great, with a little LV. This one has the same beige interior as the um, larger portion of this bag. If you're out and you want to get this, I'm pretty sure this is still available. This is one of the bags that was not selling out for Louis Vuitton on this uh, specific edition. The Speedy BB was a little harder to get, but I did end up getting it from my essay. I had she stocked the website for me every single day until I finally got it because they did not um, pre-order them. I have a thing about pre-ordering. If I, you know, to spend the money like three, four months in advance and I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna like it, um, I generally do not like to pre-order. But um, I always try to take my chances after the fact. I did pre-order the new spring line only because, um, I don't even know why. I Because I really wanted this ridiculous zippy wallet and like multi-colored pinks and blues and yellows because I'm out of my mind and I feel like I need 45,000 wallets so I'm gonna have to go apply for new credit cards to put stuff in these wallets so here you go hopefully you enjoyed it if you like these types of videos real people living real lives hiding in guest rooms apparently for uh, from their kids so they can sleep and waking up in the middle of the morning literally it's like six o'clock in the morning to do videos um feel free to subscribe um i will try to do videos once a week at least and um hopefully you enjoyed this thanks come again